What's up everyone? So today I have the MCS box mag, okay? In the past, I did a, a review on it with the features, price point, and whether or not it's a good purchase. But today, I got something a little different. I got a DIY project for you, okay? So this allows you to take the MCS box mag and generate whatever it is you want it to fit on, okay? So we're gonna go over its design and how hard it was to design my own uh, feed neck unit, okay? So let's get into this DIY project and see what it was all about. First of all, the MCS uh, I bought, I bought it uh, pre-owned, okay? It came with the M17 feed neck, all right? The cool thing about MCS is they generated this box mag um, based on a, a regular BT loader, okay? They added this unit on the side, created a box unit for you to feed paintballs, and that's basically how they got the box mag. I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with it, okay? One nice thing about their design, though, is they allow you to swap out the feed necks. So that way you can run it on any paintball marker you want. You just buy the feed necks from them. Uh, I believe these are $30 or $60 a pop, all right, on top of this $179 or $169 unit. Um, but what they designed into it is you just basically pull this pin like so, and you're able to slide this directly out. So I had this fit it really well. So this thing's going to be a pain in the butt to take out. Okay, so my measurements were pretty spot on. I got to top, uh, tap this out, which I don't want to do right now uh, because I have one that I printed, a secondary one I printed, okay? So basically I took um, this thing out, okay? I took measurements off of it, so from here to here, and then from here to here, I designed it in SolidWorks, and I got the same back profile, the same whole bottom profile here, designed all that, and then took a magazine I had and designed the actual feed neck based on the magazine, okay? So that's how I was able to get this profile. Um, in the newer edition I have here, which is why I have two, I just created this little ramp here so that way it would follow this profile here and finish it off nicely, uh, whereas the original unit I made is just flat and it would end right here so there would be a gap. It didn't affect anything, uh, just a little bit of aesthetics and I was able to design this and 3D print it. Okay, so before we get started, you may wonder why I made a 3D printed feed neck and um, why other people might want to make theirs as well. So first of all, I had this purchased and it was for the M17, okay? I didn't want to buy another feed neck setup because this was like 30 or $60 to buy with the one for the T15. So I designed my own, okay? Designed it, 3D printed it, and I could slide it on. If I decided to buy another gun, I could 3D print the same thing uh, to make that. We'll go over how to make one uh, a little bit later in this video, but we're going over why I chose to do so, okay? Also, another thing is people are complaining about the mag release, so you can't get your finger in there to drop the mag. Well, I designed this to also be, um, or designed another one that also allows it to be flipped to the opposite end, so your mag release is fully open. I don't have any problem with the mag release myself, but for people who have that complaint, uh, I designed one so that way it could be flipped around and then you can run your box mag on the opposite end of your gun, okay? So really cool thing, uh, really cool setup, and it gives you that ability to be universal. Also, I don't see the reason why you would need to drop your mag in a game um, because it's not like you're just going to throw this on the floor or swap this out for another one and put this in your plate carrier. I mean, you just fill it up with pods. Okay, and run it that way so I don't see the purpose in that. So when designing something like such um, the first thing you want to consider is how to generate the whole profile of the build that you're making. So what I recommend is using your magazine and taking measurements off of that seeing the distance that this travels into the magwell to seat 
and then leave about a quarter of an inch or eighth inch below that and then build off of that to generate this platform because when the magazine goes down my first mistake was I made it perfect and when it went all the way down if my alignment was slightly off it wouldn't allow this thing to lock into place uh, on the mag catch so what would end up happening is it would go down and then it would fall out so I would have to get it perfect and then seed it in order for this thing to lock so I allowed an eighth inch instead of a quarter inch um, but if your tolerances or your measurements aren't that great I would recommend a quarter inch just so you have some leeway in making that adjustment fine-tuning it um, I like to get things perfect so I left an eighth inch there and there's not that big of a gap okay so that was the biggest hurdle I had to come across and fix was getting everything dimensioned properly and uh, making sure everything have enough clearance to fit okay so that's the only big issue after that everything's plug and play so you slide that in and then you just put this little pin in and now you can feed balls straight up through the top of that a new design I'm coming out with in the future is being able to have a ball stop here is something I'm integrating and messing around with um, as you can see the MCS one doesn't have a ball catch so if this thing gets bumped your balls are gonna be popping out if you don't turn it off uh, so that's why I'm gonna make a ball catch also if you pull this out and you turned it off you dump it over like that and all the balls that are stacked up in here because it's not spring-loaded uh, will just fall out so you, you'll lose some of your paintballs okay so upcoming video I'm gonna have a ball catch let's see how good this works okay so I'm gonna turn this on let's see so it's on I'm gonna dump all these rounds into it these are home defense rounds Okay, so these are your breaker balls, and as you can see, it loaded all the way up to the top. I'm going to put this little box in to catch it. And it's noise activated, so if you hear a thump, that's when you're going to get your uh, stuff triggered. Okay, so let's thump it and see what happens. So as you can see, it feeds it up. But when, when it gets to the last set of uh, uh, balls or paintballs you have, it's not going to feed anymore because it relies on the balls getting feed into there to keep uh, making this bounce or jumping up. Okay, So it won't be able to feed. Um, and then also, if for instance I turn this off, like so, and then I turned it upside down, all those balls fall right out because there's nothing to catch it okay so to me I don't like that okay because if I go and set this down or pull it out and tilt it I lose everything that's in this feed neck so that's going to complete today's little DIY project uh, something that I wanted to go over with um, just so you know that there's a possibility for ambidextrous side so that way you can run your box mag on the right side or the left side if you're right handed or left handed uh, the magazine uh, release lever or little button that's not an issue uh, in my opinion because you're not dropping this okay but if you do like to have it on the, the left side instead of the right side because maybe it's closer to your body closer to your plate carrier allows you to actually hold it with your support hand if it's too heavy then I understand that portion and stay tuned because there will be a left side for that coming out uh, in the future I actually designed it already I just need to print it uh, but the ball catch here is going to be the newest design which I need to add to all of them so that way you don't have to worry about any balls uh, falling out so that's going to complete today's video if you enjoyed this little DIY project or this little overview project to get you inspired definitely give it a thumbs up it's greatly appreciated if you want to see content like this and other content i'll be posting in the near future consider subscribing until next time i'll see y'all in the next one thanks for watching